Hi, my name is Lisa Leanne. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little collective try-on haul of things I've added to my wardrobe recently. Recently, I've been trying to refresh my wardrobe a little bit, you know, for the fall, winter season. Even if we don't have seasons here, I still really love dressing for the season. So I like adding things to my wardrobe every time the season changes. So today, I'm just going to show you things I've bought over the past few months to give my wardrobe a little bit of a refresh. I've been trying to focus on buying things more slowly. So this is a collection of things like literally over the month so without further ado let's just get right into the haul i'm going to start with shoes recently i've been on a little bit of a shoe kick i don't usually buy a lot of shoes but recently i've been buying more shoes than usual so i'm going to show you the shoes i've bought i'm going to start with the elephant in the room you've probably seen it in the thumbnail but i bought myself a pair of tabby loafers yes they're split toe they look like a camel toe and they are a little bit controversial but you know what at this point normal loafers just aren't weird enough for me so i bought tabby loafers i'm kidding but actually i've been obsessed with tabbies i feel like every season for the past like two years i've been obsessed with a different type of tabby shoe and recently i've been looking for a good chunky plain loafer with like no hardware at all so i decided to just get the split toe version these actually aren't from margella as you can see they're like unbranded i just got these on shopee because the margella ones are way too expensive to commit to the whole split toe bit out of all the tabbies i decided to get the loafers because i feel like these are kind of subtle like if you don't look at it that closely you don't really see the split though as opposed to like the ballet flats or the boots where you can see that it's clearly split though i feel like i'm probably going to get a bunch of side eyes if i walk around wearing these especially if i go to like a conservative area people are gonna be like what are those but i'm happy so i guess that's what's important and i feel like these are a very good dupe or like alternative to the margella tabby loafers like the silhouettes really similar to their chunky ones they don't have any branding or anything so they aren't really fakes like split toe shoes have existed for the longest time margella just kind of made them like a trendy thing so if you want to buy tabbies this is your sign make sure to go one size down because they run really wide don't tell anyone but whenever i wear these i have to wear them with two layers of socks now that those are out of the way the second pair of shoes i got are these mary jane pumps i've been seeing ballet flats and Mary Janes literally everywhere so I decided to finally bite the bullet and get myself a pair of Mary Janes the traditional Mary Janes are just a little bit too flat for me especially as someone who's pretty short like I need that added height plus I think they look too much like school shoes when they're just flat Mary Janes so I decided to get these because they have a little heel and I think that the side profile of these are really nice I got it in the patent leather as well because I feel like the regular leather just looks a little bit too school for me like they remind me too much of what I wore in high school so like no. These also have a little gold buckle on the sides that are pretty subtle so you can pair them with either gold or silver because they're not super gold. Overall, I love these and surprisingly, even if they have that little heel to them, they're really comfortable. I wore these to school on Halloween with my Blair Waldorf costume and they were really comfy to walk around in. I walked a lot that day and these were surprisingly comfier than some flats I own. The third and final pair of shoes I got are these Birkenstocks. These aren't really a fall winter piece. They're more of a summery piece, obviously their sandals and i got these because i was looking for a good comfortable pair of sandals that wouldn't ruin my feet like i wanted just comfy shoes so i got these and so far i've been wearing them to like run errands and whatnot and they've been okay they've been holding up really well this is my very first pair of birkenstocks ever in my life so before buying these i profusely researched if they were comfy or not and a lot of people were saying that they had a break-in period but for me and my feet these are actually pretty comfortable you can kind of already see the little footmarks on them and, but i think they're totally normal for Birkenstocks. I also got them in the patent leather version because this version doesn't have hardware plus I feel like the normal black version just looks a little bit too casual for me so at least with these I can kind of elevate them a little more if you know what I mean. I just feel like with black shoes a shinier material just gives off a dressier vibe. I don't like going with like super matte black shoes so these are nice these are great and they're the final pair of shoes in this haul a little side note but if you're gonna wear shoes you're going to need socks and with the tabbies you have to wear heavy socks i got these from shopee as well and they're actually pretty good pretty thick and they're not like too obnoxiously white also if you're looking for a little pop of fall winter to add to your outfits without committing to anything i would recommend getting stocking socks you can wear these with mary janes or loafers or anything like that i've actually been seeing them a lot with fall wintry outfits on pinterest i wore this again with my halloween costume for blair waldorf but i totally see myself wearing this with other outfits as well they go up to right below my knee 
I'm 5'2 for reference and I think they're just the perfect length and overall just a fun piece to add to my outfits to give off that fall winter vibe without actually wearing a fall winter outfit especially because of the manila heat. Speaking of manila heat, sometimes I genuinely could not care less about manila heat and I just buy the silliest pieces and the next couple of pieces were actually gifted to me by the brand no one else. I usually don't accept little sponsorship deals like this because I get sketched out and I don't want to force anything on my viewers like I just keep everything real but I decided to accept this deal because no one else is actually a Korean brand and they're like the sister brand of Chu. I feel like Chu is one of the iconic stores that everyone used to visit so when they emailed me I was like yes please. I'm going to show you the leather pieces I got from them. So I got three jackets and these aren't genuine leather, they're actually pleather but they're made of the type of pleather that doesn't look super plasticky. So this is the first jacket. As you can see, it looks kind of vintage because it has that vintage -y look to it. Because recently, I've just been seeing so many leather jackets that are new but look aged. I think that's the look we're going for this fall winter. Been seeing a lot of brands do it, a lot of people in fashion do it and me personally, I just love anything vintage or anything that reminds me of the past. I got this in the size double zero. I think that's their small I'll link it so you could check and it just fits perfectly on me. It is lined but it isn't heavy at all. I don't think it'll keep you super warm especially if you live in a really cold climate but that's honestly perfect for me because I would be able to wear it locally just in Manila because it's not too thick. I feel like this is air conditioning weather appropriate so that's really nice. Okay the next piece I got is definitely a little more of a seasonal trendy item but I've been seeing a lot of moto jackets around and I wanted to do my own spin on it plus you know leather. Love leather. Such a leather girly right now. So I got got this. Usually the moto jackets I've been seeing around, especially on Pinterest, are super colorful. So I like how this one is just super neutral. It's just so me. It's so boring, but it's so me. I also got this in a size double zero. I believe that's their small and it fits me slightly loose. More loose compared to that super fitted style I've been seeing. This is also lined, but it's made of a really light material. And even if I don't think this is a super classic piece, I think it's always good for me to add little pops of trendy things in my wardrobe because after a while, super classic clothes just feel boring to me so this is good for when i'm feeling like a cool girl i feel like i need to stand up for this next piece because it's so heavy this is the last leather jacket and unfortunately it didn't fit me look at how big it is this was honestly my favorite design out of the three but it only came at one size it's size two i think this is like a size large this is just way too big on me so i can't really wear it out but i'm still going to show you guys because like in case you want it because it's a good design it just really isn't my size so it's also slightly aged as well it's like slightly faded here and there but like it's a good type of fading you know it's like the vintagey type and i like that those were genuinely an arm workout for me <laughs> they were really heavy especially the last one anyway moving on to this next piece i got this knitted zip up and i think this was just a really good basic for me to like throw on for school and stuff it has their logo on the little rubber thing they really do incorporate their logo on everything I also got this in a size double zero and I think it's just really good. You can wear it either layered with a tank top underneath or by itself with a mini skirt or even with pants. This is a really light piece so again just now Philippine aircon where they're friendly. But even if it's light it's like not see-through. That's my biggest pet peeve when like knitted materials are like slightly see-through it just pisses me off. I also got a few pairs of pants from them as you can see. This is my color scheme recently, black, blue, cream, just neutral. Starting off with my favorite, I got this light wash pair of jeans. These are just a perfect fit on me. True, their original brand was really well known for these minus 5kg jeans that were apparently made to make you look like you weighed 5 kilograms less. Never really tried that out, but I was super intrigued to try their jeans because they were really known for it, especially back then. So of course, when they let me pick out stuff, I picked their jeans. This is the first pair. It just has their logo. It's just a really good pair of straight legged slash almost wide leg jeans. They aren't too wide. They aren't too tight. They're just a perfect fit and they aren't narrow at the bottom of the jeans so they don't fit super weird you know some jeans they kind of like go in at the end or like they just go straight down so they're kind of tight at the end it looks awkward with like chunky shoes these don't look awkward with chunky shoes at all they fit me perfectly i got this in the size 25 and i'm usually a size 25 or 26 in jeans and this fits me so perfectly these are definitely going to turn into a staple pair of jeans for me for the pants i decided to get more staple pieces because i feel like for the jackets i got trendier things you know i'm trying to balance it out anyway the next pair of pants i got are flared pants and i got it in black and blue i've just been loving navy blue so much recently so i had to get them in two colors these are really comfortable they're sitable pants they're not really made of a denim material they're more of a twill material but they're really sitable i got these in a size 25 as well I'm 
pretty sure I got everything in a size 25 and these fit me with allowance they're kind of low waisted on me they end right below my belly button so I like wearing them with long tops because I feel like it elongates my torso which I really like also the flare has a split at the very bottom so you can move easily and freely because I feel like you can either wear them with chunky shoes or sleek shoes and they'll work out because they have a lot of space at the bottom the last pair of pants and the last thing I got from them are these jeans I thought these were the coolest these were definitely my first pick they're these jeans and they're pretty unique because as you can see they have that back pocket look in the front and then in the back they have that front pocket look so they're kind of like inverted jeans which i thought was really unique also really like this argyle like crisscross print i thought it was a really good fun pant without being too fun that it wouldn't be repeatable anymore this was just a really good classic pair again as usual they have their logo in the back like this i got this in a size 25 and these are kind of tight on me i feel like the zipper just doesn't go that long so i have a hard time putting these on and they fit super exactly these are low-key standing jeans so i would definitely recommend sizing up for these because they're pretty tight and they're pretty high-waisted anyway overall i would recommend them and i just want to say thank you again for sending me stuff i feel kind of famous when that happens i want to show you one last jacket because i really like this jacket i got it from love bonito this red suede jacket and i just think it's the perfect piece for the holiday season it's in this red that isn't too obnoxiously red i know it looks bright right now because i'm wearing a really dark burgundy color but it isn't a bright bright red so it's a good red to wear out that isn't like screaming red and it's this suede material and suede has been totally in i've been obsessed with the rose like little suede bag but that's besides the point it goes without saying pops of red have been the color of the season and this is just a really good pop of red little jacket if you're looking for a good light jacket this is again really light i feel like it doesn't keep you that warm and then it's a pretty relaxed fit so make sure to size down if you are ordering this if you're looking for a bigger red pop of color you know what i mean this is just such a fun piece i love it on my quest to become the most basic person to exist on this planet i got some white tees i've been on a white tee kick recently and i'm actually planning on making a whole video just about white t-shirts i own because there's such a science to them but i got this tee from uniqlo it's a size extra small and i really like it it looks really put together so far so good i also got a couple of their baby tees i think their mini t-shirts are really flattering so i got both of these colors honestly when it comes to uniqlo i i usually just get their blacks or their whites uniqlo is just such a common brand that if you see one of their pieces in a specific color you just know it's from uniqlo but when it's in black or white people are like well it could be from uniqlo it could be not from uniqlo i just like keeping people on their toes so i got these two t-shirts as well and i've been wearing the crap out of them they're a longer length too which goes really well for my more low-waisted pants so these are really fun another basic this one i think is good for layering with jackets for you know the fall winter season um i got this bodysuit from tiktok i got so boodled guys i just checked this out on a whim and i liked it so much that i bought it in white but unfortunately the white version isn't as seamless isn't as nice so if you're going to buy this make sure to buy it in a dark color only but this bodysuit does wonders for me okay it was super affordable but it's honestly really good i got in a size extra small to small and i think it's kind of loose on me so i think it'll fit like a medium and my biggest pet peeve ever is when tank tops are like tucked in and then there's fabric here it's annoying that's why i'm wearing a bodysuit right now so bodysuits for the win especially for layering it keeps everything seamless sleek and tucked another good low commitment item you could buy for this season are belts i've been obsessed with these skinny belts they come in a bunch of different colors but i got them in black and brown i couldn't recommend them more they were like 100 pesos on shopee and they are great they're not that weird material that looks super fake they just look like a good basic belt and right now i'm trying to figure out whether i should invest in the belt or not because i'm not really sure if i'm a belt person and these have solidified the fact that i'm a skinny belt person i just love this slim belt look so if you're looking for something just to spice up your outfits a little bit these are great they were 100 pesos i also have this thicker version and i don't recommend these as much as the skinny ones because i feel like the skinny ones are just better this black one i like but this brown one i think is a little too reddish for me it just doesn't look like a natural brown leather which i'm not that big of a fan of and i'm really particular with small details like that the thing about these thicker belts is that they don't have the thing to secure them at the end so you have to just pray that your belt loops end at the perfect point for to secure these they were also like 100 ish pesos so if you're trying to experiment with your accessories these are great i'd recommend the black one probably not the other colors i feel like the other colors don't look as good as the black one last but not the least just a little follow-up to my video about 
tote bags for school. I feel like I made that video a little too prematurely because right after that video, I bought a new school bag. School bags, I try to keep it practical, you know? So I got this Longchamp tote bag and it's not the regular nylon one, which is why I wanted to talk about it. Sometimes the regular nylon one tends to look cheap because people overstuff it with things without the organizers. So if you have the nylon one, like the organizer's kind of a necessity. But this one's a coated canvas material. It kind of looks like a leather and it holds up really well without any organizers inside. Plus it has more pockets inside. So if if you're trying to look for a school tote bag still, I'd recommend this. I used to not want to buy a Longchamp tote bag for school because a bajillion girls have them. But then eventually I came to terms with the fact that they're practical. So I got this. Okay, yes. That is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at AlyssaLien and on TikTok at Lisa's Vids. I'm more active on there. That's it for this video. Again, thanks for watching. Bye!